Today we're going to have a look at how I actually made the Focal Tour CDs. I had to start off with making a template in Photoshop, which was pretty much trial and error. So once I had lined everything up with Photoshop, worked out which side would be which, and that's where we align all of my images, the logos and stuff, we did all that in Photoshop. I will try and leave a link to the design that I came up with. Once I had all the templates sorted out, we moved on to cutting. We printed onto 300 GSM card. It's the thickest that my printer can actually handle. It turned out to be nice and thick. The card I used before was a little bit flimsy. This is actually the, the test print that I did. It's a little bit too flimsy, but it's not the worst thing in the world to use something slightly lighter. I just preferred having the thicker card. The biggest thing I could suggest is make sure you've got a cutting mat. You'll need an extremely sharp scalpel blade or standing knife basically just something that will cut through. You'll probably need to do more than one cut just to make sure. A steel ruler, I would always advise a steel ruler. We just follow around the outside, make sure we get as close to the outer lines as possible and be a bit careful with the parts closer to the spine because they are the actual edges of the case. Just make sure you're getting close. The way I've drawn the lines, it allows for a little bit of error and luckily these bits will be folded in so you won't see any issues. Once I start folding it, I use the steel ruler again. I found folding it the wrong way tended to not cause um, the ink to look like it had I suppose, shattered. So I basically folded it in reverse to fold it back the correct way. For these I used wood glue. The wood glue got tacky almost instantly but it was not ta too tacky that I couldn't realign stuff but it's held together really, really nice and tight. Fold the flaps in, and on this version, I've actually glued everything down, so there's no inner sleeve, there's no pockets or anything. But the way I've designed it, you could potentially leave one of the sides open, and then you'd be able to insert a lyric book or anything that you might want to add in with your CD. Make sure everything's pressed down as firmly as you can. Uh, the small flap at the end, if I was going to do it again without a pocket, I think I might take that section off altogether. Worry about like, just gluing it properly because this bit seemed to be very flimsy, split quite easily. When we got to the inner section, I had to make sure that I knew which side was which. So just always double check it before you put any glue on it. Make sure you know which side is going behind your actual disc tray and which side is not going on the disc tray. Make sure they're the right orientations. Take your time with it. I personally started gluing from the outer edge because I felt that the curve of the spine was going to possibly cause an issue with the alignment. So I figured work from the outside in because then it will be as close to being in line as possible and just push everything down once all your glue's on just take your time so that you know that all of the edges are down i noticed with my design the inner, inner front section was actually ever so slightly too long it was ever so slightly too big so i did trim that down worked from the outside if i was to make it with a pocket i would glue it straight to the tabs and worry about it that way so that you can leave it to dry you won't get glue in between the pieces make sure they all get pushed down as tight as possible. When it comes to gluing the inner tray, I would either go for hot glue, or if you're not pushed for time, something like Gorilla Glue. A couple of blobs in the corners. Basically just added any sort of weight just to hold it in place. Let it dry overnight. We end up with, once it's put in the sleeve, in the CD packaging. Now if I want to stick something on the outside of it, I won't damage the actual disc. If they've got to be sat here for a little while, I can take them to gigs to sell. This will protect the disc as well, so they, you will always get it in the best possible quality. And that's basically what I did to make these CDs. 